Right, so getting ready to fit the uh, the timing gear uh, and the uh, timing case, um, which uh, should be interesting because I've never seen um, sort of pinions with so many marks uh, on them. Uh, let's have a look. Mm, that one's fairly straightforward. Not sure what's happening on the exhaust either. But uh, what we'll do is um, we'll, we'll start them. We'll start from the standard uh, standard fitting and take it take it from there. And uh, we'll re redo the timing. Yeah, I've got. Uh, no, no, it's on this one. What on earth? I, I don't know what is going on on this intermediate. I mean, there's there's marks all over it. Um, I, I'm, you know, you don't alter the marks on this. You alter the marks on 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 the inlet and exhaust uh, pinion. So, what what they're doing marking on this? I, I don't know. It's it's, it's all. I, it's very strange. Very strange. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. But and also here's the this is the original marks. I'm a bit confused because these original marks should be in the middle you know where where there isn't a tooth but the marks seem to go over where there is a tooth so i <laughs> really am pretty confused i must admit but, but i can only assume it means does it mean that tooth I, mean, I am a bit confused by that it should go you know i can only think it's that that space on the right there but it is a bit confusing but then all these other marks i don't know what they're doing but anyway we'll, we'll we'll take it a step at a time the first thing we've got to do is to put the cam the crankshaft pinion back on okay so the crankshaft crankshaft pinion uh, is pretty straightforward the main thing is that the sort of flange bit goes to the uh, engine and that there's a spacer the spacer goes on first um and so on the outside we should have uh there we are the pinion mark you see now this pinion mark here is on a tooth and so when that lines up there that 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 should be you know that that mark oops i'm, I'm doing the camera wrong but you see the tooth should on here should line up with a you know a not tooth as it were on on there but you know the, the mark on the you know it seems to be there on on this uh, intermediate i'm assuming it's there and that that's the uh, inlet marking we'll come on to that there's a dash and a dot we always use the dash and that's the exhaust marking originals and then what on earth all these other are who knows but I am a bit confused as to why those two dashes aren't, you know, they should be over the centre of this, you know, to the, you know, over, over the centre of this sort of gap. But they're not. But I assume they're there. But we'll, we'll, we'll check it all when it's all on anyway. But anyway, the first problem I've got is that I think I've, I've goofed for, because I always goof, in the fact that I think I should have put this timing pinion on when I had the crankshaft apart. You know out of the engine because i'm fairly sure you can put the time inside on even with this with this pinion in place the problem is now that this pinion is a very very tight fit on this shaft so i'm going to heat it and heat it and heat it uh, and then hopefully knock it on lining up the uh, the whole the slot in the um, pinion with the keyway the key rather on the crankshaft but it's a very very tight fit so I, you know why I didn't put it on I th the reason I think I didn't put it on is because I've never put it on so it's just like not not in my sort of order of doing things um, but next time I really need to think and think put this damn pinion back on before do I ever need do I actually haven't yeah I need to take it off I need to take it off to because I wanted to replace that that bearing but I should have put this back on after I put the bearing on uh, with the crankshaft still out the engine but it's not so i'm going to give it a go now i'm going to heat this pinion as hot as i possibly possibly can which is you know really really hot and then see if i can 
knock it on with again with a, a box spanner or something to slide it down the shaft having remembered to put the spacer on first right I'm nearly ready to try and get the pinion onto the crankshaft I've heated it up as much as I can my blowtorch and I've oiled the uh, crankshaft and uh, so hopefully I'm going to get it on the only advantage is if it does sort of decide to go half on and then jam at least we do have the pinion extractor to get it back off again so it's not one of those where you, you're thinking oh no I need to get it on no matter what at least if it does decide to jam or burn through my gloves which is quite possible then uh, at least we can get it off again with the extractor I've got the, uh, extra the extractor fan going by the way which is a noise obviously this is a bit smelly heating heating anything up makes it very smelly right okay I'm gonna try with that so I know I've got the woodruff key at the top so I'm gonna put this at the top try not to burn my fingers Oh look at that, oh my word, that, that's what heat does for you, that is what heat does for you, just slid straight on, you get it hot enough, I, I did really, I heated that a lot, and that's, uh, wow, it just slid straight on, <laughs> fantastic, I mean, when it was cold, you know, it wouldn't go on at all, you know, it wouldn't even start on the crankshaft, but heating it up, giving it a lot of heat, and it's just slid straight on which is fantastic so I'll let that cool down now and uh, then we will uh, start fitting the other uh, the other pinions okay uh, yeah the fans uh, the fans running a bit um, but we've got the uh, um, crankshaft pinion on and uh, I've got the uh, uh, punch mark at the top we've got some um, assembly lube on the intermediate shaft and here's the intermediate pinion with its rather strange uh, marking on but um, these two uh, dots here they should go in between either side rather of that dot so we slide the uh, intermediate on with again with the shoulder to the uh, to the engine I've lost my two marks where have they gone oh, that, that's them there one's heavier than the other so then hopefully uh, let's have a look where am I I'm trying to look through the camera rather than with my own eyes as it were so as far as I can see that's in the right place because that dot should be either, you know, those two should be either side, but they seem to be slightly misstamped. Uh, and then uh, we hold the intermediate pinion on. There's uh, a thrust washer, and then uh, there's a circlip. So I'll put those on, and they just go. There's a groove there on the shaft, uh, and the washer, the thrust washer goes at the back, and then obviously the um, oh, crikey O'Reilly circlip. Uh, goes over the top then uh, I think you can see yeah so then pointing yeah are they pointing yeah I think they are sorry then pointing at the uh, inlet uh, camshaft are these two marks a dot and a dash now we use the dash not the dot now I'm not sure why there's a dash and a dot I'm assuming that this uh, intermediate Opinion is used for other engines uh, and they use the dot I don't know but that's all I can assume but we always use the dash on the for the inlet and we use the dot uh, for the exhaust okay the uh, and then we're going to loosely fit the actual camshaft pinions themselves 
so the actual pinions themselves are actually the same they they you can use uh, they're actually the same part number i've marked them because that's the that the, the one that was the exhaust and that's the one that was the inlet but if you look you will see that they have inlet and exhaust markings on both they're actually the same part inlet and exhaust you just fit them obviously depending on which sides which so it's a bit weird because it says inlet but you don't actually line up with that you line up with the dot that's nearest to inlet i mean this has been added all sorts of dots all over it but that is the right dot and then on the exhaust again it says exhaust there you don't line up there you line up with the dot because next because there should only actually be those two dots on these but obviously these have been messed about all over the place so on this one inlet i think that is the actual yeah that's the original dot you can tell because they line up with the keyways so then the exhaust and that lines up with that keyway so then um when we put them on standard uh, timing is that you make sure the keyway is pointing towards the center of the idler so each keyway so the inlet is pointing that way and the exhaust is pointing that way okay on the camshaft then we get the uh, inlet uh, pinion and that's that there is the dot so i'm going to try and line up the dash uh, with uh, that dot let's have a look i'm trying to look through the camera again yeah so that should be it let's have a look if uh, i might just have to turn the sorry basically uh i just need to get the key to line up perfectly with the uh with the hole um but yeah as you can see hopefully now if i go to focus there we have the line lined up with the dot i'm just trying to get this to there we go i think you can see it there's so many punches in that on this okay and i just need to push it on i'm not going to fully fit it because um we are going to be adjusting the timing to get optimum timing and that will involve taking the pinions the these pinions on and off i will be fitting these bits onto the intermediate in a minute right so then we've got the exhaust and so again we've got that uh, key lined up with the center of the idler okay i've um i've put them on now so again we've got a dot on the crankshaft pinion in the middle of the two slashes on the uh, intermediate or at least <laughs> just about in the middle ignoring all the punches that someone's put on then we've got the inlet punch which you know it's that one because it lines up with its keyway and that lines up with the slash on the intermediate and the key in the camshaft is facing the uh, center of the inter well, facing the, the intermediate idler and then we've got the dot on the intermediate lining up with the dot on the uh, i'm trying to get some light here uh, on the uh, exhaust uh, pinion okay and again the key on the camshaft is facing the intermediate uh, pinion okay and that is standard or should be standard uh, valve timing but i've only put things on loosely i've, I've put the um, thrust washer and the circlip on the intermediate but the actual pinions are only fitted the camshaft pinions are only fitted loosely uh, because when we get the barrel and that on, uh, the head and that on we're going to be um, checking all this uh, timing and see if we can optimize the timing to get the maximum power and and i really don't like all these punch marks why they're you know if you're going to change the timing you add punch marks as someone has done to the camshaft pinions but why there are marks i don't know, I don't, I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on i really don't so there we go i think someone at some point these three are supposed to line up with these three 
and then on the exhaust is there, a, is there a two somewhere yeah there's two there and those two are lining up with those two i mean i'm not quite sure maybe maybe they decide to punch them that was where they were when they took them off i don't know and they decide to put them back but then why we've got extra you know so we've got three there or two there not the one there is doing whether that that was like was lining up with this one i don't know maybe you know that's that's where the pinions were when they took the timing cover off and so they marked them that's why they decided to put them back i don't know because for various weird reasons a bit beyond me i think it's every 94 revolutions of the crank it's only every 94 times so these dots realign like if i turn this over once now all these dots will be all out of line i turn it over twice and they'd be out of line again i think it, it, it's done like that so that we are able to reset the timing you know everything slightly one tooth out it's designed not to be perfectly symmetrical uh so that you can adjust the timing so anyway so every yeah every 94 revolutions of the engine then all these these three marks will be back in line turn it over once or twice it'll be out of line <sighs> um yeah okay so they're there i'm going to turn the engine on that over in a minute and check all the, the, the camshafts and everything's fine it, it feels fine to me but uh, i'm just going to leave it there for now uh having just got all that that timing gear there and uh, we'll come back to it um when we start putting the the, the cylinder head and that on okay <laughs> 